I'm going to be reviewing both Kitten and Tinderblocks by Alley Cat Games, both very recent Kickstarter fulfillments, both have the gimmick of being based in a tin, both incredibly small as you can tell by the comparison of hand, and both dexterity games. This is the one that was publicly advertised massively, this is the one that I purchased as the addition. Question is, which one is better? And the only way to find out is to have a look at both of them and for me to give you my thoughts. So Kitten's concept is incredibly simple. You are competing with others to be able to build the stack of cats the fastest. In this example, you need to build this specific structure using this pieces faster than anybody else. And once you've done, you shout meow to indicate to all the other players that you have finished and the competition is over. It is for two to eight players, which means that there are enough of these pieces for two to eight players to be able to successfully complete any of these. And the game ends after, well, we played it up to so many cards. However, in the actual rules, it just says end of the round, and it's the first person to win three cards. We personally didn't find that long enough, especially with a larger group. It was the opposite. We found that too long. So quite often, we just played it as a case of we played until we were either finished or played until we had hit five with a much smaller group. It always worked. There was no real qualm with it. And to be honest, the biggest qualm that we had was with each other and our ability to build stacks. You could divvy out all the cubes, you could have them in a big pile in the centre. However works for you and your group is going to be down to that. In the example here, there are several things that can go wrong, however. So I could build this, and I finish off by adding that on there. I shout meow, everybody checks it, and everybody says it's wrong, and I argue that it is correct. But if you actually look at the pieces I have used and the structure I have built and compare it to the card, there is scope to get things wrong because my green cat is backwards. These pieces are specifically designed to go together and they work really well in that sense that they do go together. It's just all based on human error and how well you can make the different structures. The cards also come in quite varying difficulties. There are some Kickstarter exclusive ones that I've got here, but they go from the completely innocent and easy all the way up to the absolutely mad and incredibly difficult especially when you are in a situation where you are competing with others to race to get it. And it's not just get it done, but get it done perfectly. How you hold your nerve and how dexterous you are will determine how good you are at stacking cats. Tinderblocks is a different game in itself. You are still trying to play a dexterity game competing with other people, but in this one you are trying to show that you are the person who is the most dexterous, not the fastest. So you use the tweezers to be able to pick up the different blocks and you have a starting card. And it has got two variants. We start with the nice and easy with three brown logs or we can have one where it crosses over. For this example, I am just going to pick the three logs, stick them on there and boom, game set up. What happens then is that players take turns to draw a card and then they need to stack the different blocks shown on top of what already exists. So as an example here, I would need to place one brown log on this. The only difference is that this symbol means you need to use your non-dominant hand. So in my example, that would be my left hand. And all I do is I pick it up and stack it. Where I stack it, it doesn't matter as long as it's on the actual bonfire itself, but tactically you may then want to choose to play quite sneakily. And of course, then we have the complete polar opposite. We have something that's quite tricky and difficult. Now, I cannot set the blocks up ready to be picked up. I actually have to have them like that, like that, and then be able to pick them up and, again, stack them. And it is a lot more difficult than it seems. And again, we then have the absolute evil cards where it is, let's get it out of the light, a red cube, a yellow cube, and a brown log all being stacked onto there. They're not all as evil as may seem though. You do have some quite simple ones, ones that will help build fire. Um, but in the wrong sequence, you may end up with a fire that looks a lot more like something out of a scene from some sort of witch film where you are trying to burn someone at the stake and you have a large set of logs going up and the fire surrounding it. This one's entire premise is about being the most accurate, but this is the one that includes player elimination in a group of six players, which is how many players you can have in this one. 
it advises, there is no reason you couldn't have more, but in a group of six players, it is the last player standing who is the winner, which means if you go out in round one and then they play for another seven rounds, you are going to be sat doing nothing. The game is incredibly quick. It doesn't last long based on how difficult things are, how tricky things can get, and just based on how small it is. These tweezers are evil. You will struggle to pick things up with them, but that's part of the charm of the game, in my opinion. If you're not given a challenge and you're told to just pick them up with your hand, well, it's going to be a lot easier for me to hold, carry these, and stick them on there. With these tweezers, however, I've then got to apply the right amount of pressure, keep balance, because one will slip with the pressure and everything trips and falls. So to answer the question as to which one do I prefer, which one is the best of these two, personally, I'd say Kitten. Kitten is not the reason I backed this Kickstarter project. In fact, I did not expect to pick this up. It was completely on a whim that it was such a good deal. I decided to get this on the basis that I was getting that. Of the two, which one I prefer to play? Every single time, Kitten. It doesn't require any player elimination. It doesn't require any level of dexterity. It requires levels of speed, which makes it a fun dexterity game. That one is far more intense and will result in more laughter, more anarchy, and much, much more tension. But the moment you're out, you're then out of that. And the moment you're distracted, you're no longer playing the game. Kitten keeps everyone engaged because you're then, your race is then against other people. And so long as you're able to build that stack faster than everyone else, you're always in the running. My only qualm, number of players against the number of cards required. In an eight player game, it may take one person absolutely ages, much longer than the actual 15 minutes recommended play time to get those three cards. On the flip side, in a two-player game, you're going to get those three cards in no time. But then, that is just part of playing dexterity games. Tinder Blocks, I would not discount as a good game. For on the go, it is incredibly compact, really easy to set up and play, and it takes absolutely zero teaching. All you need to do is explain that one symbol of using the correct hand, and then you're off. The concept is simple, and the gameplay is fantastic. But if you are going to go for one as a purchase, personally, I'd recommend Kitten.